So I'm putting the foliage in next because the filler material is delicate and if I put all the filler in and then add the foliage, I'll be breaking some of these little pieces. So the next step is to get foliage in. While I can see my green tape here, it's pretty well camouflaged against the green container and the green block of foam. But if this container was white, that tape would be very, very visible. So the first thing I want to do is cover the tape. And Gaelic sleeves are wonderful foliage for serving that purpose. I have cut the stem maybe three inches long, so it's long enough to push into the block because that stem is very smooth. And if it's cut too short, then it can fall out of the design if the design gets jiggled on delivery or something. So we want to make sure that the tape is covered. And then I would go around and put in a few more Gaelic sleeves to help hide the foam. You notice that I am inserting all of these stems toward the center flower. This is an example of radial stem placement. All stems are coming out from a center point, if you choose to look at it that way. Or you could say all stems are going into the center point, however you see it. So now most of the foam is covered. By using, what did I use here, two, four, six, eight, about ten Gaelic sleeves, then I don't have to use so much of this leather leaf fern. Leather leaf fern is a good example of a filler foliage. It's small, it's branched, it's clustered, it's delicate. And so we can use this foliage to fill in between our other materials. Now, if I want to use a piece of foliage that has two branches going either way, then this in itself is an example of radial stem placement. So if I'm going to use this, I have to make sure that the central stem is against or next to the center flower. That way it follows, continues to follow the radial stem placement. Another thing that's important, some of you are going to be tall as tall as I am or taller. And in that case, we are looking down on this design while we're making it. But if this is going to be a table centerpiece for a dinner party, all of the people that are at that party sitting at the table, they're sitting down here and they're going to have to look, they're going to see it from this angle. So we have to continually look at it from this angle to make sure that the customer sees what we want them to see. Now, maybe I need a couple of pieces a little taller right in the center, just right here. Now we come to our filler material. And basically, we insert our filler material all around, I like to say all around the town, so that we have even dispersion. Status has a very naughty characteristic. These blooms go in all directions. You notice how some of them are shooting up and some down and some sideways. Well, the face of the bloom is what we want to see. And so we want to put this stem into the design so that the customer sees the face of the bloom. If we make a plain, simple 
traditional round bouquet and its proper proportion and balance and it's in good quality material, it is excellent. It serves its purpose. We don't have to have a lot of creativity in every design. When you are working with a design such as this, without even thinking about it, you are training your eye to see balance and proportion. But you know what? You can't see that unless you step back. You need to be back six feet or eight feet so that you can see this design. This is what the customer sees when they walk into the room and they see this setting across the room on the table. When they're seated in a chair, then they see it up close and that's when the details show. So we have to be concerned with what we see at a distance as well as what we see up close. So there we have a basic round bouquet. Thank you.